Good morning everyone. I'm not at Woody Bay today. I'm at Alan Keith and look what's here. John Payne's going to tell us a little bit of how the story started. Okay, John, over to you. Thank you, Trevor. Well, yep, here we are on uh, the 8th of July 2017, uh, some eight years after we started this project, and as Trevor says, we're pretty much now on the final lap and almost the final straight before we finish. This weekend actually marks the 50th anniversary of uh, the end of steam on the Southern Railway, and I'm really pleased to say that we've resurrected one Southern Railway loco, Lynn, from the 762 Club for the Linton and Barnstable Railway. Um, as I said, my story started with this NG in 2009, um, at the toilets actually at Woody Bay Station. Pete Miles was stood to my left and I was stood on the right. Uh, I'd just come off the appeal for uh, the, the rebuild of Axe uh, and the extension of the line to Killington Lane and Peter asked me what my next project was going to be. Um, I said, I don't know, what do you want me to do? And he said, well, how about 762? At the time, I said, 762, what's that? Uh, and the rest is history. It's a number that's certainly been ingrained on my life over the last uh, six or seven years. And uh, here we are today with Lynn in steam, minus her final paintwork, which will occur in the next month or so prior to her transfer to Woody Bay in September for commissioning trials and uh, public launch at the September 2017 Gala. It's been a really great journey. Um, we've had lots of people that have helped us on the way. Not only the members of the 762 Club have all generously donated, some at the beginning, some at the middle, some at the end of the project. Some members have contributed all the way through. So a special thanks to all those members that have contributed. A special thanks to all those individuals that have sponsored individual components on the loco and later today they'll be able to see those those components in action but i'd also like to thank all the organizations and companies that have been supplied parts to this locomotive um, or given us parts free issue uh, and helped us on our journey this is an iconic part of the linton and barnstable railway we're putting back Another piece of the jigsaw of that uh, famous narrow gauge railway that ran between Linton and Barnstable, and this will cement uh, a heritage train that lives and breeds at Woody Bay Station. So again, thank you to everybody. £600,000 later for a locomotive that was scrapped in 1935 for the mere sum of £50. One thing we pay tribute to. Wonderful job. John is standing there very proud of what he's been behind as well as all the other people that have helped bring the Baldwin back to life. Indeed so Trevor, I think uh, fair play to the guys that designed, built and commissioned this logo. It comes with a lot of ups and comes with a lot, a lot of downs, um, lots of challenges that we've had to address as a relatively small team but I think you'll see from the quality of the engineering and the quality of the final result hopefully we've provided a locomotive that will provide years of good quality service to the Linton and Barnstable Railway. To quote one of the guys who's uh, spent a lot of time recently constructing the locomotive, it's the dog. Thank <laughs> you. 